What happens to the Memphis wine market with grocery stores and liquor stores competing? I mean, what's going to happen to the wine market? I, I guess it's a twofold question. I mean, one, it's going to um, probably not benefit a lot of retailers out there that have been selling wine all this time. Um, you know, you're going to have, uh, you know, we've got about 600 retailers across the state right now. And you've got that many that have already applied and pretty much gotten approval to sell wine. So that will definitely uh, dilute wine sales in existing stores. And I think the other part of that question that's really not been discussed, and it will take even more time to determine, um, will wine in more places actually grow more wine consumers? Um, so that could be an interesting aspect that, that may benefit some existing stores, but that will be a long time to tell. You know, for us at our store, we've embraced the changes that um, and, and, and the law that's allowing us to sell a lot of other items when it comes to, um, you know, low gravity beer, or you know, the domestics and name brands that you're most familiar with. So we now carry a, a full array of of beer from uh, from Budweiser up to uh, uh, craft beers like you know local uh, breweries. From my understanding, from our vendors, we're already the number one craft account. Uh, craft beer account in the city. The, the beer is up to about 5% of our volume right now, um, where it was running like 1.5%, so that's been reassuring. Um, accessories and food have gone up to about 2%, um, and we needed that because uh, last couple of years there's been a lot of increased competition uh, at the retail level. So um, we kind of, uh, you know, after a few kind of weary years, it's nice to see an uptick and a little bit of growth and with the expansion that we've done. Yeah, what I like to think of us now, because we're the largest store in the state, is we're the Bass Pro, Bass Pro of booze.